Hey everybody, it's been a while again. I had every intention of uploading an episode sooner, but ran into some issues and it had been pretty busy otherwise. I'm getting into a more consistent groove with my new business I started up at the beginning of the year, so I think I'll be able to get back to a more consistent upload schedule sometime soon. As a frame of reference, this episode contains footage as early as January 25th and as recent as April 16th. Now on to the episode. Decided to get on a little bit tonight while a few others were online and uh, found this mysterious shulker box. Couldn't remember what the heck I would have placed down here and then <laughs> uh, opened it up and turns out it's the uh, order that I put in from Zilmi's shulker shop. So he put some gold and some orchids and lilacs and uh, iron ingots, diamonds, sunflowers. Seems pretty fitting. And uh, this one. <laughs> Wholesome. Uh, in a strange turn of events, some of my sheep have gotten out of the pen. But there's nothing wrong with the pen. I'm at a loss. Well, uh, I found some of them. <laughs> I don't know if this is all of them or not, but uh, I'm going to have to try and round these guys up somehow and bring them back on through. That's going to be a project. I've grabbed some leads and made a little ramp uh, to get the sheep back in the pen. <laughs> Here goes nothing. The sheep, well, at least most of them, have been returned to their rightful home. And I <laughs> posted a brief message in the Packet Craft Discord to mention that if anybody comes across some sheep in the nether uh, with Jeb underscore name tags, that they uh, belong here. <laughs> and uh, I've now put uh, some fences and fence gates surrounding the portal so they can't wander in there if they get out again. Finally got a chance uh, where both Stuff and I were able to get on so we could do that ice trade. So I got uh, three chests almost full. <laughs> for his 150 stacks of packed ice. I'm just going to let him know that it, it's uh, ready to go. Pretty decent profit. Uh, obviously not as much as I'd make if I sold it at the regular rate, but it's also 120 diamonds at once, so can't really complain about that. Hey, everybody. It's uh, been a while again. Um, I had my uh, normal monitor that I had been using while recording with this relatively new PC sent in for an RMA. Um, it's, it's a, it's a long story. Yeah. I talked about it on Twitter a little, if you want to read up about it anyway, a lot of stuff, uh, lots of little things have been happening, uh, that I haven't recorded cause I didn't feel like changing OBS's settings to work with the other monitor I was using. Um, the first of which you can see is behind me. I've made some changes to this iron farm. Put a little uh, wall around it made out of iron, uh, mostly just as a flex. Uh, slabbed it so that they wouldn't. I wouldn't have to worry about anything spawning down here. Um, put some more chests in here for storage and a permanent zombie. Permanent zombie uh, to keep the villagers nice and scared so this thing rolls through nicely and. Uh, it's been doing pretty well. Um, yeah, the, this thing made a lot more iron than I thought it would. And it'll be, yeah, it's been really nice to have. So I'm just gonna go through a few different things here that uh, are new since the uh, last episode. And if there's anything I you see here that I missed, uh, be sure to, um, uh, holler at me and I will uh, talk about it. There's nothing in this room here that has changed visually, but I was reminded when I walked up by this furnace here that I went and collected a couple more shulker boxes worth of glass because I ran out. I f was overworking in the swamp again and uh, I went through those. So I've been plugging away and making a fair bit of progress over there, but nothing really to show for it yet because I'm still in the preliminary stages. But Figured I'd mention that. Figured I might as well talk about one other minor thing while I'm flying back over here to spawn. I didn't realize that OBS had such a thing, but there is a replay buffer built in. So uh, 
when I've got it open and running anyway to record clips, I can uh, have a replay function that I've bound to a internet lag is fun, um, that I've bound to a hotkey so I can get the last two minutes of footage saved to disk, which will be nice to have because I've not had a way to do that with Minecraft because for whatever reason, the Java edition of Minecraft, it does not work with AMD's Radeon Relive, 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 I don't know how they <laughs> want it to be pronounced, but, uh, or how it's meant to be pronounced, but that feature does not work, does not like Java Minecraft. A while back, we had our first court case here in the courtroom, and it was going to be part of this episode, or a future episode, uh, possibly even a bonus episode. But something went wrong with my recording, um, and it, the footage is unfortunately no good. Uh, it was a very funny and very uh, interesting case. Um, basically, Killer K was suing Rosino uh, for harassment. Um, yeah, and unfortunately the footage was lost. There are a few new structures and buildings at spawn here. Uh, one of which is a uh, print shop, I guess it's supposed to be. I actually haven't been over here myself. Um, Interesting. Okay, that might be a that'll be a cool service here to have potentially. Uh, this, if you'll recall, a while back uh, I mentioned how Stup had started copying other shops in the area. <laughs> um, he finally got around to copying mine, and I don't think he's selling anything yet. But I just thought it was a little bit comical because I think his versions of these just look weird and amazing at the same time in all honesty like inversed just it's it's pretty i like it and he's like i I just gotta like give him some credit for the dedication except that when i asked him about this missing roof he said oh yeah i'm just i'm just gonna skip the roof I, i'm very, i'm kind of disappointed not gonna lie i may need to uh start keeping a spreadsheet to keep track of prices if I'm going to compete with Stub. It's going to be interesting. Oh, uh, minor note too. Rosino has gone around and put some uh, depressing song lyrics in people's shops for whatever reason. Uh, that's a thing. He put them in my shop and um, my slot machine as well. It's, uh, yeah. So, and one other minor note is that I did have a few more sales here at my ice shop. Uh, I think there were, like, I want to say three sack stacks sold, or four maybe? Anyway, uh, just that one last minor update on that. Here's a uh, another new shop, a general purpose shop. I don't recall who even built this, but uh, some more song lyrics. Uh, yeah. A bunch of miscellaneous general purpose stuff. And then there's this, uh, why are the words escaping me? It's a uh, parkour. Yeah. So you pay one diamond per attempt, and if you can get to the top, you get 64 diamonds. I attempted it a couple times, and, uh, well, it was too embarrassing to keep the footage. I deleted it. That's the first time I've ever deleted packet craft footage, but it happened. Uh, one other addition over here that I kind of forgot about, that I kind of forgot about, uh, Jehan Legal Defense Group, or J, I'm probably butchering the pronunciation there, uh, but he's one of the new packets, we had a few people come in, uh, must have been about a month ago now, anyway, uh, he's gonna be a lawyer, I guess, Hi again, if you'll recall, uh, I didn't even recall. I had to figure out what episode it was <laughs> when I did it. But back in episode six, so quite some time ago, I put these stone slabs, smooth stone to be to be specific, uh, up here. And uh, to this day, I still cannot decide if I like how it looks on top of the wood here. 
like, I wasn't even, didn't even think I was going to be using this house this long, in all honesty, but I didn't realize how big a project my uh, other base is. I don't even know what to call it. Mega base feels like a, I'm pulling a, you know, like everybody would call it that. I, I should come up with a unique name for it. Uh, swamp project, anyway. And yeah, I still, still can't decide if I like this all this time later. I've uh, also been letting this ice farm run some, so I've built up a decent amount of uh, regular ice again as well. Thanks for watching. This episode felt like it was a bit rushed, despite the amount of time in between episodes. I hope you enjoyed this little update. I want to make some big moves on that swamp project, so I've got some fun updates to share, but that may still be a while. The process of placing glass seems to be never-ending. As always, you can see what I'm up to on Twitter or in my Discord. Links in the description. Until next time. MZ.